Hi folks, it's good to be with you and love to everybody out there. I just want to make two videos uh, today. Uh, the first one is concerning the Sri Lankan uh, bombings and concerning uh, persecution of Christians. You can get me on jasonburstpreacher.com, Facebook and Twitter, and get me on Amazon. If you want to support me, you can support me at my PayPal account, which is at the top of the YouTube channel and also Patreon account. You can also buy uh, t-shirts of Royal Blood Ministries if you want to at the top of the YouTube channel. So it's good to be with you. Um, I just want to recommend this magazine. It's Barnabas Fund. And uh, they talk a lot about Christian persecution. There's also an amazing book here by Patrick Secudo. You want to get hold of that book about Christian persecution. It looks really, really good. I would buy copies and pass it on to people. It'll be a blessing to you. Okay. Also go to Open Doors and you'll find uh, an, an, a great organisation that deals with Christian persecution and supports Christians who are being persecuted. Um, I just want to make this video because, and I, I hope that people might change their opinion or be more active in defending uh, Christian rights but I'm making this video because of those reasons every week every month every year I get sick to death of the lack of backbone in the media and in the politicians in fact it disgusts me it really disgusts me and I hold the media in contempt and I hold especially our Western politicians in contempt for the disgusting um, cover-up really the, it's a disgusting cover-up of the persecution that's going on concerning Christians around the world there are hundreds of thousands of Christians every year being murdered. And we're talking children, we're talking women, being raped and butchered. And Silicon Valley, the tech giants, uh, the major politicians, the media, are often very silent about it. When they're pushed to actually mention uh, persecution of Christians they even get to the point where they don't even want to mention the word Christian so for example the Sri Lanka bombings children massacred women massacred they really didn't want to mention it was Islamic extremism uh, it took them a, a little bit of time before they got to that point where they had to admit that and then they didn't they, they, they didn't in in their reporting, we're talking about uh, mainstream media, mainstream politicians, people like Hillary, Hillary Clinton and Obama. They wouldn't use the word Christian. They used the word Easter worshippers to try and negate the fact that it was target that these Islamic extremists targeted Christians on a Christian festival day. Um, there have been hundreds of people murdered and massacred in Nigeria recently, Christians. We've heard very little in the media about that. There has been a bombing uh, of a cathedral in the Philippines recently. We've heard very little about that. There have been over 800 churches uh, vandalized in France. We've heard very little about that. Uh, all across the board, uh, on a mass scale, never... Uh, seen before in the history of the church hundreds of thousands of Christians are being murdered and massacred and our western politicians don't even want to use the word Christian apart from maybe one or two like Jeremy Hunt and and it comes down to the fact that we in the west seem to have a self-destruct button where we don't want to honour and respect 
our historical roots. We don't want to honour and respect our Judeo-Christian roots. That for some reason we've decided that we're on a suicide mission and we've thrown Christianity under a buzz. And if Christians are being persecuted, so what? That's basically what the media and the politicians uh, who, who are politically correct really think. They might not say it publicly, but that's what they really think. And you can see that in the contempt they have for Christianity and Christians by not using the word Christian when Christians are being targeted by Islamic extremists. Very little pressure by Western governments is put on Pakistan uh, concerning uh, Christian persecution there, which is, which is horrendous. Uh, terrible things are going on where Christians are, are burnt alive in Pakistan and India and British government and Western governments don't say anything about it, don't put any pressure on Pakistan for the terrible uh, inhumanity that they, they've been doing to the Christian community uh, in Pakistan. Um, and we could go all over the world, we could go to Nigeria, uh, Christians being kidnapped, uh, women being raped, uh, villages being massacred, uh, Western governments doing very little to help Christians there. And, and I could go all over the world and tell you of thousands and thousands of examples of Christian communities being attacked, women and children being raped and murdered, principally by Islamic extremists. For example, if you uh, did research about the Christian church in Syria, in Egypt, in Iraq, and see the decimation that Islamic extremists have done to the Christian church. And we've heard very little uh, from the Western governments about these things. And to add insult to injury, when these Christians who were persecuted want to come to America or want to come to England from Pakistan or Syria or Iraq or Iran, our stupid governments and our stupid foreign offices won't let many of them in. Yet, an Islamic asylum seeker, they'll let in. A, an Islamic terrorist, they'll let in. Who goes fights on jihad in Syria and then comes back because they want to get benefits and come back to the UK. They're okay. But a Christian who's being persecuted in Syria or Iran or Iraq or wherever wants to come and... They, they um and ah and think, oh, well, we don't know about this. And they won't let them in. Uh, when Barack Obama was in power, they made it a principle not to let the Christians in when they were flooding, when, when they were being persecuted in Syria by the Islamic State. How disgusting and disgraceful is that? And, and then these politicians and all these politically correct do-gooders then play the, the card... Oh, you're being, uh, you're being extremist, you, you're causing division, you're preaching hate. But where was I when the Muslims were being attacked and, and, and massacred at Christ Church? I spoke out, I defended them, I said, this is terrible, this is disgraceful. I even shed tears because I saw the video of the attack. So when... People are being persecuted, they're not Christians, whether, whether, whoever they be, whatever community, gay, uh, uh, Muslim, whatever. I'm there and I'll say, this is terrible, this is really, really bad and, and we're there with you, we, 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 we're there to comfort you and support you. But the Western politicians and the Western media are not there to comfort the Christians. Thank God there are bloggers and YouTubers that are there. There are people who are either atheists who will stand up for the Christian community around the world. For example, uh, Sargon of Arcade, who's an atheist and he's a really nice guy. You know, there are bold people out there who will make a stand and will say something, who, who are bloggers and, and YouTubers. But generally, the mainstream media and the politicians, they they are not fully reporting on everything and they're not doing it objectively and they're not doing it fairly and they're not doing it properly. The, to, call the, to call the Sri Lankan bombings 
Easter, the victims, Easter people, is a disgrace. It's not recognizing that they were a Christian community worshipping on a Christian festival. That to not do anything about the Pakistani persecution of uh, the Pakistani government's lack of helping Christians in Pakistan, where Christians are being burnt alive and and women being raped, is a disgrace that when women are captured and children are captured in Egypt and being murdered for their faith because they're Christian and the and, and, and Western governments don't do anything about it. It's a disgrace when Christians are being absolutely raped and murdered and massacred in Nigeria and Western governments aren't doing anything about it. It's a disgrace. So let's have it right. Let's have it fair. When Muslims are attacked, I cry. I say, this is a tragedy. This is horrible. Look at that lady. Look at the, look at them being shot. This is terrible. And I cry, and, and it's not right. And we stand up for it. And we say, no, this isn't, this isn't right. And we say, it's the Muslims that have been attacked. Or if the gay people are attacked, we say, it's the gay people attacked. We don't say, oh... Uh, it, it, it's them people who worshipped at, uh, were at a nightclub. We say, no, it's the gay community that was attacked. When the Muslims are attacked, we don't say, oh, it, 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 it's, uh, it's them people that worship on Friday. No, we say the Muslims. So when the Christians are being attacked, we don't say, well, it's the Easter people as if it's everybody. No, they were being targeted specifically because they were Christian and it was on a Christian festival day. So let's have it right, let's have it fair. And there's a lack of fairness within the media today. There's a lack of fairness within politicians today. They are anti-Christian. They hate Christianity. They want to destroy Christianity around the world and destroy Christianity in the West. And if anybody says anything, you're an Islamophobe, you're a homophobe, uh, and, and, you, and you've got to be dealt with, you've got to be deplatformed, you've got to be pushed out, you've got to be told to keep quiet, you can't say anything. Why? Because where's the political... Pro Correct Brigade feel that we are entitled to rule the world and you are to shut up. Well, I'm sorry, I don't want to shut up. I want to speak my mind. I want to say what's true. I want to say that it's not right, it's not fair, it's not cricket. When people are being persecuted, whatever faith, you should stand up for them. There are 800 churches that have been vandalised in France and very little in the West has said about it. There's very little said about it. If that was 800 mosques, the, the, the whole world would be up in arms. But no, 800 churches and it's take a chill pill, guys. Don't worry about it. We're the political cor cor correct brigade. We hate Christianity. Let it die. We don't want it in the West. We don't want it in the world. And we're just going to let it die. So don't mention it in the media. Don't mention it as politicians. Just, just call them Easter people. Don't even call them Christians. And let's not worry about it. And it's not right and it's not fair. And what's happening in Pakistan is... Is, is an absolute disgrace on the West. They should have done something about what's happening in Pakistan, the Christians there, and in Nigeria, and in Syria, and in Afghanistan, and in Iraq, and in China. The Christians are being horrifically persecuted in China, and yet the Western governments are just saying, oh, we want to do business with you, uh, China. We want money from you. We'll do business with you. But the Western politicians are not saying, well, well wait a minute. We want freedom for the Christians. They're being persecuted there. Uh, and we're not on about persecution on a small level. We're talking about in a, in a horrific level. The same in North Korea. Christians are being persecuted there, killed and slaughtered. Western governments should be doing something about that. The same with in Iran. Western governments should be doing about that. Christians are being decimated there. But no, the politicians and the Western governments and the media are complicit in a cover-up of genocide that's going, been going on for years around the world to, to Christians and very little is said about it. Just one or two YouTubers and bloggers like Sarken, Sargon of Arcade and a few others mentions, mention it and then they're, they're, they're told that they're Islamophobes or they're right-wing extremists or whatever when actually they're just speaking the truth and saying the way it is. So these are my thoughts. Deal with it. It's come from the heart. Lack of hypo Deal with the hypocrisy. Sort the hypocrisy out and be fair to those who are being persecuted. Call them Christians and say, look, this is genocide that's happened. We need to, and it's a disgrace and we're going to do something about it. And not just hide it and pretend that these things don't happen. God bless you.